and, and Mo combined for 23 points and Stanford's bench only had two. You just, uh, the importance of having that energy off the bench and being able to keep the flow going? Uh, you know, our job coming off the bench is just trying to maintain that energy. You know, coach always tell us when we get in, you know, make a difference, you know, in our energy and our pace. And I feel like today our bench was able to do that. Nah, just to piggyback off what he said, I mean, Coach Lloyd, he emphasizes, you know, when we get in just to try to, you know, make a spark and um, bring the energy back up, um, you know, and that's our job, you know, to, you know, to have the starters back. Do you guys feel like defensively, in particular, that was the key for you guys to create that spark defensively and turn things around? Oh, yeah. Uh, Second half, we came out, you know, with more energy. You know, defensively, we came out with more intensity. And, you know, that's, that's what win games at the end of the day. Was, was that the big difference, just defense, uh, intensity defensively? I mean, uh, is a team that you 16 to 25 up there, they shoot their first six to seven, then all of a sudden? No, for sure. I think, you know, uh, going into halftime, I think we were all calm, but we already knew what, you know, the mentality was in the second half, you know, just to, you know, really lock in and, you know, and not give up easy bo uh, easy transition buckets and, you know, guard the three-point line. And, you know, we have O, oh, who's a great rim protector, um, you know, guarding us, uh, got our, uh, who has our back. Just tell me how you guys have time about that. Just maybe give you a rah-rah speech or something like that. Uh, he just said, you know, we're good. You know, we just had to settle in, um, you know, and just be be killers, be dogs on, on the defensive side and the offensive side where it took care of itself. Something Stanford was doing defensively that kept you guys from being able to get to the line and, and draw fouls in the first half? And if so, how did you erase that? Uh, you know, they came out switching everything, one through five, and that's something, you know, all season we, we haven't seen. So teams are definitely going to try to do that. So our adjustment, we just moved the ball, played Arizona basketball, and, you know, we came out on top. Like the first handful of possessions, everything was about driving to the basket and getting it in there and, and creating that foul pressure. Is that kind of what the plan was? No, for sure. You know, just moving the ball and cutting. Um, you know, we, we watch film. They don't really want to try to foul or block shots. So we just have to, you know, enforce it. You know, take the, take the pressure to them and, you know, make them make a decision. Either to let us get a bucket or foul us. When Umar is playing the way he has played this weekend, I think 40 points, 26 rebounds, how much easier does it make you got your guys' job from the perimeter and just getting open looks? Uh, you know, Oz is probably the best big in the country. So, you know, us just having his back and knowing, you know, he can play that hard and we got his back at all times. It's, you know, it's, it's night and day when he's playing that, you know, playing that hard and, and getting those, those numbers. So it's good, good for us. You know, after the UCLA, in the UCLA game, obviously you guys had a big comeback, and then tonight down 11 and a half, and then outscoring by 22 in the second half. How much energy does Mikhail give you? All the energy in the world. You know, it's probably one of the best venues, if not the best in the country. Um, you know, we love the fans, and just like Coach Lloyd said, you know, they, they're a part of us. You know, they bring the energy for us, and we just got to, you know, bring the energy for them. You guys talking about the, the defense again, but is that when you look back in the game up at Stanford, was you know, do you guys feel like the intensity was lacking, or was, or was it just a case where they were executing really, really well? Um, I think it was a little bit of both. You know, they came out, you know, shooting the lights out the ball, you know, one through five, everybody was hitting transition three. So, you know, halftime he came in, adjusted, you know, try to run them off the line, stay up front, you know, uh, coach's game plan worked. What, you guys are in uh, first place alone now, but obviously a tough trip ahead. What's, what's your kind of thoughts on where you're at in the, in the conference at this point? Uh, you know, we're just trying to take you know every game, you know, game by game. Um, we know we got a tough road trip ahead. Um, you know, we're just gonna lock in mentally. Um, you know, prepare really well, and you know, we, hopefully we get you know a road sweep. As, as guys who've come off the bench the whole season and uh, you have a game like this or maybe a, a stretch of them and if someone is struggling in the, the starting lineup, how do you keep from being like, I should be out there more instead of someone else and, and keep the whole team thing going? Uh, you know, just having our teammates back, you know, every night it's not going to be your day. It might be somebody on the bench, a starter's night. So everybody just giving everybody energy and being happy for the next man. So I feel like that's what's great about our team. We're all happy for each other, and at the end of the day, we don't care who shines, who gets all the, you know, all the love. So that's what makes us a great basketball team. It's testament to our culture for sure. You know, started from day one when everybody got here with Coach Lloyd. You know, we celebrating uh, celebrate each other's wins, um, and you know, picking picking each other up. Uh, you know, after losses, I think you know it goes down from the you know the starting five to the end of the bench. You know, everybody loves each other.
At this point of the season, you guys are pretty comfortable in your role. I mean, y'all obviously could start for a heck of a lot of teams out there, but could both playing big roles off the bench. How how is that sitting with you, and how are you comfortable with it, especially now? Yeah, you know, you know, I love it here. When I when I want to be anywhere else, you know, uh, you know, coach does a great job of putting us in situations where we can be successful. So that's all we can ask for, for sure. Appreciate you guys. <clears throat>